There are Native Americans from all walks of life here in southern Arizona. The two tribes who have reservations here in the Tucson area are the Tohono O'odham Nation and the Pasco Yaqui Pueblo. And people from all parts are giving their opinion on the debate dealing with the Washington Redskins changing of its name. Well, you know, Paul, I've, I've had some mixed feelings about that. Ned Norris, chairman of the Tohono O'odham Nation, thinks it's a good move to eliminate the team name Redskins. For me, it's offensive, and for a lot of folks, it's offensive. Norris admits he grew up cheering for the Redskins football team, but also feels it's time for a change, especially because of stereotypes that unfairly represent Native Americans. What appears to me a fake Indian right running around in, in full regalia uh, as the Redskins mascot. When a Native American sees that, I mean, it's, it's, it's offensive because those things are special to us. Those, that regalia means something to us. Meanwhile, some Native Americans like Jaime Abetia say they'd like to keep the Redskins name. I was a kid and I remember seeing the logo uh, and thinking, that looks like me. That's someone I can identify with. Uh, and that's the day I became a fan. I was just a kid. Abetia says he will still sport his Redskins gear with pride. I am very saddened to see, Paul, that they are um, succumbing to the pressure. There are far more pressing issues, um, not only for the this country, but for the Native American community than uh, the name of the Washington Redskins. On NBC's Today Show, Arizona Congressman Raul Grijalva chimed into the national debate, quote, you either step into the century or you don't. It's up to the owner of the team to do that. I think that when people try to depict what they think is a redskin, it degrades us as a people. It is still unclear on exactly when a new name will be decided for one of the most storied and oldest franchises in NFL history. We'll keep you updated. We've got you covered just west of downtown, Paul C. Kala, News 4, Tucson. All right, Paul, storm alert is low. It's Monday, and we have until 11.